Here at PrepRS we have a collection of canes. The vast majority date back to the 1800s. I want to show you a selection of seven such canes, but a little bit different because they're all of gold top and none of them are nine carat, believe you me. They range from 18 carat up to 21 carat. Now, given the fact that these were all made in the 1800s, um, latter 1800s mainly, 1870s, 1875, the profound point of this is that most people during that period of time were in extreme poverty. So who were these people that could walk around lavishing gold top canes. Now that's very interesting. These aren't the Silver Spoon Society. These are way, way richer. And one of them even belonged to a child with a gold top. So they could not only afford such a cane, but also could risk the loss of them because unlike something like a brooch or something around your neck, these aren't affixed and could easily get lost, but they, they were prepared to risk that. Maybe Nanny would be very careful not to, to let the child lose it. I don't know, but let me show you them. I believe it looks like it's 18 to 21 karat gold at the top, and it looks to me like it could be a Masonic mark. I, can. I think that's a Masonic mark at the top. Spin it around. A beautiful gold topped walking stick. Beautiful. I think I'm looking at a Masonic mark. Here's my second beautiful detail. If I can get it to you. It looks like there was some form of lanyard with this one. You can see the hole going through it, which was some sort of Lanyard, and interestingly, the hole itself is lined with a gold liner. Now, number three is an amusing one with a lovely gold collar around the top, possibly belonging to a young child. Just a little gold ring around the top an amusing head and this one here clearly belonged to a lady it's quite short it's quite fine all three golden segments at the top are each hallmarked which is very interesting each of them are hallmarked and all gold now this one here doesn't really say anything at all. But it's clearly of a very interesting shape and it's clearly a very, very nicely made gold topped cane. Now a very, very fine piece here can say, now this contains, this one contains some lettering on it, it's a lovely walking cane. It has some lettering on it. It says quite simply, two, and then three initials, which I took to be the recipient from your wife. Very nice, and some beautifully tooled work there. That 
sense of beauty. And the final gold one I have to show you, a gift to the best man. Very nice indeed. And there's a date which is interesting. 25th July 1887. And to put that into perspective, that's just when the Wild West in America was coming to the end. It was a long, long time ago. Beautiful. And there we go. What a beautiful golden cane.